Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Oha Kate, I'm a composer, and today we're going to be checking out B2B Movie. Thanks to all of you who enjoyed my B2B Killing Voice reaction and who subscribed and commented. This song came up as a very common suggestion, especially after you guys noticed that I was more into the upbeat songs. This is a song that appeared a lot in the comments, so I decided to go ahead and try this one as my next taste of B2B. I'm looking forward to this. I will also be doing a lyrical analysis. So let's go. Yes, this one is <laughs> certainly very, very upbeat. I really enjoy the production and the beat of it. There's a lot of um, horn instrumentation in here. It has a very positive vibe overall. Although I, I like the fact that the beat hits hard. I really enjoyed the first verse. I believe that was Hyunsik. I'm sorry, you'll have to forgive me if I, I get the names wrong, but I believe that is Hyunsik in the first verse. Then there was some rapping and i don't know who that was because with their hair and the makeup and stuff in this video i'm finding it hard to to recognize the, each each person but i really like the rap first that was cool some good spitting that is a great chorus also there's some really nice vocal lines in the chorus this the, the, the overall vibe while this song is upbeat again it's it's very it's giving me a little bit of a a, a bubblegum wholesome vibe as opposed to something that is like darker and sexier which is what i usually go for but i love how this video is shot i love the colors the outfits and i'm here for it let's keep it going <laughs> I'm one in a million, limited edition, no kidding, you'll be wishing You could be my missus, soon or later, girl, you want that position When I walk up in the club, all the girls stay with me I'm the only thing they see, and the guys who stay with me Cause I'm fresh and clean, from my head to my feet I'm the definition of the word masterpiece That is... I have to look up how to pronounce his name because I don't want to get this wrong. Okay, I can't get a really quick source on how to pronounce this name. So I think it's Peniel. I like how when his verse started... Uh, we switch to a little bit of a grittier situation visually. I'm not sure if I recognize that rapper. That might be the guy who had to leave the band. If it's someone that I should know already, I do apologize. Again, the, the hair and makeup is throwing me off a lot. Yeah, I like the art direction of these shots. I'm really into this visual look. Better stop right in. I'm on in a million. Limited edition. No kidding. You'll be wishing. You could be my missus. Soon or later, girl. You want that position. When I walk up in the club, all the girls stay with me. I'm the only thing they see. And the guys who stay with me. Because I'm fresh and clean. From my head to my feet. I'm the definition of the world master. Please, when I have wish you can't have them. It's a yard of tension. Go boom, boom, throw in the game. I 
I like that little dance move there. Let's go back and see that again. The shoulders, very, very cool. Yeah, that is Minhyuk, I believe, with the more formal wear doing this rap part right now. I like in the chorus how there's this very explosive vocal melody. Very nice. those background vocals. Cool. Ooh, vibey. Alright. I quite enjoyed that song. I, it grew a lot on me more uh, towards the end, like the more it went on. I'm a big fan of the chorus. The vocal line in the chorus is sick. The instrumentation, I almost feel like the instrumentation was uh, a little bit, well, I'll say it was very well arranged and competent, but the combination of the horns, the the piano and everything, it was, it all made it feel a little bit too pleasant <laughs> to my ears. It's, it's, it's a very strange concept that I'm trying to get across here, but I guess I just appreciate um, experimentation in music a lot and I felt like this song was played quite safe even though I, I do get the concept it was going for the concept of like movie and the instrumentation was was giving movie score a little bit like with the jazzy vibes and stuff and it showed some um, like film noir inspiration too so while I do completely understand it yeah it wouldn't be the most adventurous song compositionally that I've heard uh, in K-pop, so it sits in this sort of um, average zone for me where everything is very clean and competent and well executed, but it's just missing an edge somewhere that I need to grab me personally. Um, one thing I can definitely praise is their vocal performances. Sorry, if you can hear um, a dog barking in the background, there's nothing I can do about that. I do apologize. Yeah, their vocal performances are really solid. I loved their looks. Let's just go back through the music video and see if there are any other standout moments that I want to call out. Well, I really, really like how Hyun Sik looks in this video. I love his outfit, his hair. He looks really great. A great decision of bias, for sure. This guy, he must be the guy who left the group. And I did read a little bit about that. Very unfortunate. This is Chang Sob, I think. And this is a, obviously a Bruce Lee slash Kill Bill inspired outfit, which is pretty neat. I know he had a little uh, pre-chorus here, but I was surprised that he didn't have more parts in this song, considering how stunning his voice is. The choreography was very strong, for sure. Like, there's some great angles here. That's a great move. I like the color coordination, the combination of blacks and yellows and whites. A little bit of red there. Very well thought out. Like, every shot in this music video is very pretty. But, like... I am feeling that the the concept could have been a little bit more 
cohesive. We have a very uh, wholesome shot here with lots of bright colors. And then we have like more darker themes like vampiric stuff. Then we have the, the eight mile situation. And then we have the film noir situation. I guess this, this is the more romantic comedy thing. Like I get the concept of the, of the video. It's trying to showcase different genres. And the more colorful shot here is them in real life, I guess, watching the movie. And while I get the concept, visually, it doesn't lend itself to a very striking music video because there's so much going on and you're, you can't really settle into a particular visual vibe. At least that's how I felt experiencing it. Like I, I appreciate these suits. They look so good in, in these suits. I absolutely love the colors, but again, I'm struggling to piece it together with the theme of how these suits fit in with like, <laughs> even this, like it's a totally, it's a totally different thing. And then we have like more of a, like a rave, dance rave environment. Yeah, I will say like not to go too hard on them, but I, I do think a lot of pop videos suffer from this. It's really more about giving a lot, lots of flashy dance moves, camera shots, rather than trying to deliver like this super high concept art. But a few videos have nailed like cohesive themes. So I always kind of look out for that. And I, I call out lack of cohesion when I when I do see it. Yeah, and then there was like this, this bomb situation. It's just too much varying degrees of different art direction for me. And the song, while fun, again, I loved the chorus. The chorus really stood out to me. I also loved the rap parts. The overall vibe of it was a bit like middle of the road. It didn't really go too far in one direction or the other. It, it felt like a reasonably safe commercial bop and that's totally fine and i, I don't want to completely write off um this group's upbeat songs <laughs> because they do have upbeat songs that i enjoy like i believe i checked out a song called higher and i really like that one that one is really kind of my vibe it has that edge that i look for you know to be honest when i listen to this song again it'll probably grow on me even more because as i said the more i heard that chorus i was like wow that's a really catchy hook <laughs> okay let's check out the lyrics at first, everyone's like that. There's no one to trust. It's a waste that I'm next to you. No matter what they say about me, you just stay like this, like the night goes. Just enjoy until the end. Hey, DJ, you should be careful of women, no matter whether they're awake or asleep. You can't divide in half and keep man. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and say that I think this is a poor translation. I'm just going to try another one. Okay. At first, they all say, you can't trust any guy. You say you're too good for me. Whatever you say, just have fun with me all night. Hey, DJ, you always have to be careful with girls. You can't split them in half and take one part, man. It's fire, fire, be careful. Even when she tries to tempt me in a dark alley, I belong to my lady. A slice of humor cake and nothing but the best, pass. Make history or not, I'm standing towards you all night, all right. Um, I think that this translation is probably poor. And um, I would try another translation, but this is the second one I've tried. So I'm worried that like a really good translation doesn't exist of this song. But I guess what if I were to try to get anything from these lyrics, it would be you have to kind of take take the girls as they are, you can't change their personality. You can't take one part and leave the other. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. That's the only thing I get. I'm a bit dizzy. Please hold me. I have a warm heart. I'm not good at lying. Actually, I think I'm really lonely. Please listen. Please don't leave me, baby. Love is like a movie. It's so typical, but I want to love you like that too. Always knew, like a man, you can take all of me. My time flows into you. Okay. Um, he's saying that our love is sort of like a romance. It's so uh, magical. It's, little, it's like a movie. And I'm really into you. I think it's, it's pretty simple, straightforward. Accept me before it's too late. When the scars in your heart heal, I'll be your man more than anyone else. Be my last love. Before it's too late, girl, you better stop fronting. I'm one in a million, limited edition. No kidding, you'll be wishing you could be my missus. Sooner or later, girl, you'll want that position. When I walk up in the club, all the girls stare at me. I'm the only thing they see, and the guys wish they were me. 
because I'm fresh and clean from my head to my feet. I'm the definition of the word masterpiece. Hey, these lyrics are rhyming in English. <laughs> oh, they are English. <laughs> I think this must be um, uh, Peniel's part. Okay, so this is my favorite part of the song so far. I think that was a great verse. Really enjoyed it. Great rhyme scheme. Uh, simple enough concept, but really well written. I really enjoyed it. You have something that turns me on. My nerves are on edge. I feel like I'm floating. Even when you just talk, my ears tickle. Who planted this dangerous dynamite in me? I'm about to explode. There's a storm inside. My reason is breaking down. My heart is bursting. Bomb bomb. Typical endings. Bye bye like love revolution, princess and prince. Yeah. It's just sort of a general love song, but I'll finish the lyrics. How far will we go? I won't make the same mistake. Move your body right now. Don't leave me. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah. And then the chorus happens one more time and then it finishes with accept me before it's too late when the scars in your heart heal i'll be your man more than anyone else be my last love okay again i don't really put a lot of stock into this translation but if i take it as it as it is i'm sort of uh confused that there's not more movie references in these lyrics especially if they were really leaning into that concept the movie concept really only appears in the chorus in like one line where it says love is like a movie. So it's it's surprising that they went all in for the video with this theme. I think the lyrics are fine as a, as a sort of generic love song, placeholder type situation, but um, I suppose just this song uh, musically and lyrically just didn't hit the bullseye for me personally. But of course, this is only my opinion, my taste, and I really don't mean to go too hard on it. Again, really enjoyed the chorus, really loved their vocal performances. So I am really intrigued as to what else they have in store. If you have any other suggestions, some good ideas that you think I'll really enjoy or songs that you think I won't enjoy, I'm actually happy to analyze any song, whether I end up enjoying it personally or not. I really like to dig into how these songs come together, how they're composed and the messages or themes they try to evoke. If you'd really like to influence the content on this channel, be sure to become a patron or submit a special request. The links are in the description. Again, my name is Oha Kate. I'm a composer. You can check out my original music with the band Valkada. There's a link in the description to check us out. That's about it from me. Please like, subscribe, comment, and hit the notification bell. And I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks so much and take care.